being a man is get glass and metal shivers and thorns and all kind of stuff in your hand and having to constantly pick them out. And the world is not perfect. You can't always get a band-aid. You know what I'm saying? But if you really want the full context of what life is about, you know, what being a manly man is, you're gonna you're gonna be sifting through junk and dirt and and doing what they consider blue collar manual labor at the time. And you're gonna have bottles of alcohol and you're gonna be picking all kind of stuff out of your hands. Okay, and that's basically what it is. So, you know, there's stuff in my hand for fucking probably, you know, 20 years. If, if I had an x-ray, you know, and it affects things like playing the guitar and stuff like that, I feel like little little stuff in there. And, you know, you're constantly picking. But that's that's part of the experience, you know, and that's a universal thing for any language, any, any nation or whatever. But, you know, if a man gets thorns and, and digs in his hand with a razor blade... And just, you know, like I said, tape and alcohol, okay? And you know what? Until you actually do that, um, and, and, you know, you can't complain. And you can't have a perfect world. And you just can't understand what you have to go through in life and how this world was built. Because, you know, if people worried about band-aids and gloves and proper stuff, nothing would ever get done, okay? And for the upper echelon, so to speak, people, you know, they know this. And they know that people are satisfied with just, you know, watching sports and, you know, getting lit and, you know, having fun in certain ways. And then they'll do that forever, you know, a million times over and over and over and over and over, you know, so they don't have to go anywhere outside of just digging in the dirt, getting thorns in their hands. But that's not why it happens for me. It's because I'm an artist and I survive day to day sometimes. So, you know, it's just that liberation comes with a price, you know, of getting stuff in your hands and stuff. So you got to be careful of that, okay? You know, so if you get, like, thorns in your hands, like this one under here, I've picked it out so many times, and finally it's gone. It was taking me a week, and it, what it was is like a little tiny piece of, a, I think it was a fluorescent light somewhere, uh, a couple shivers of glass in there, and it was broken pieces, and you know, you could feel it, and when you press on it, and then you pick them out, and you're like, and you hear the noise and everything. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, peace out.